Hi guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy midterms week. It is finally here. The semester is going by so, so fast and we are halfway done which means I'm a quarter of the way done with my senior year. This video is going to be kind of like a week in my life sort of thing going through midterms. I'm gonna do this in the same style that I did my finals week last semester. So I'll link that video if you guys are interested. It's a wild one. But basically there's gonna be like multiple days in this vlog, but they're not gonna be consecutive days or they're not like necessarily going to be consecutive days. So it's a little bit like a week in my life, but it's not like all the same days right in a row. It's kind of like, whatever days I'm working on my midterms are gonna be the days that I'm filming for this vlog. It is Monday night right now. Today is October 10th. I have quite a few things due this week, but they're relatively small things. So I think we should be able to manage with a pretty normal sleep schedule, work schedule. I don't think we're gonna have any weird hours or anything like that, but you know, the week is still very young, so we will see. <laughs> if you guys are new here, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. My name is Charlotte. I am a senior at the University of Michigan studying communications. I am taking three communications classes this semester and then one random like history class that I needed to fulfill my major requirements. So that class is all about like the history and culture of Cuba. And it's actually really, really interesting, even though it doesn't have a ton to do with what I want to study or what I want to do with my life. But oddly enough, that is the class that I have my biggest midterm assignment for. I have a rather like medium sized essay that I need to write for that class. I don't actually remember how long the essay is. Let's consult the syllabus. Does it say? I am realizing in this very moment, as I'm trying to explain to you guys what this assignment is, that I actually know very little about what this assignment is. Um, it's a paper, but I don't know how long it's supposed to be. It doesn't say anywhere on the assignment how many pages or how many words it's supposed to be. So guess who's gonna be emailing the professor later today? <laughs> Maybe I'll just ask her in class tomorrow because we do have class tomorrow, which is nice. Either way, that is going to be one of the larger assignments that I have due this week. The rest of the assignments are going to be a little on the smaller side, much shorter, like 500 word essays, that sort of thing. <laughs> because I'm a communications major, most of my assessments in my classes, most of my graded assignments are writing based, like essays and papers rather than exams which I have found works really well for me. I don't mind tests, I just prefer writing because I get to, there's more gray area, you know? It's not like right or wrong, it's like if you can explain your answer, you're doing okay. Anyway, for that class tomorrow, we have a couple of things that I need to do before I turn in my paper. I have a couple more readings that I need to do and I have a discussion post that I need to post by midnight tonight. It's 8.45 right now and I still need to do a couple of pages and by a couple, I mean over 100 pages of reading. <laughs> so unlike last year's finals vlog, I am not going to attempt to do everything in my bedroom because that's where I get distracted and don't do my best work. So my apartment building actually has like a dedicated study lounge downstairs that we are going to head to. I've been there a couple of times this semester already and I really do like it there. I find it very conducive to studying. Like it's a really, I don't know, productive space. I feel like for me, it works really well. So we are going to pack up my things, head down there really quick. And like I said, it's in my building. So I am not changing out of my pajamas, which is really nice. Let's pack everything up and head downstairs. <laughs> Skip to the 
Good morning you guys welcome back today is the next day it's tuesday i got like 98 percent of my work done last night which was so so nice because usually i'm very bad about like doing the readings for this class which i always feel bad about but there's usually like a hundred or more pages of reading that we have to do before class and that just is really overwhelming like that's a lot but i did most of it last night and we still have like an hour and a half ish until I actually have to go to the class. So we are going to be finishing that this morning. One thing that I have noticed with like writing intense classes versus like exam based classes is there's so much reading. Like you just have to read a lot. Like that's your homework most of the time is doing your reading so then you can go to class and discuss what you read and what you like learned and i am not kidding when i say i have literally hundreds of pages of reading to do every night for my classes so this is the perfect opportunity for me to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video updf so updf is a free to download pdf editing and annotating software and basically what that means is you can go in to your readings that you have for class highlight take notes edit your pages, do anything that you need to do to take notes or keep track of your readings. I love annotating my notes because if I don't, then I like completely forget all the information that I read. So having a software like UPDF that allows you to highlight and edit those documents is really, really helpful for me, especially as like a calm slash like literature arts sort of major. So we're here actually like in the UPDF software interface because I wanna show you guys what it looks like and how easy it is to use. So up here you have all of your tools. You can highlight, take notes, all of that kind of stuff like I said. So let's say that this sentence is really important and I wanna remember this to talk about in class. I just highlight it and then I can make it whatever color I want. They have a couple of like predetermined easy colors to pick from. You can leave yourself a little sticky note and again, there's lots of different color options. You can also go in and organize the pages. If there's like a blank page on your reading, you can get rid of that or you can replace pages. You can insert your own pages. So say you like took notes on a separate document and you want to put that in the same document as your PDF reading, you can import that and add that on. So if you guys are interested in UPDF to annotate all of your PDFs, I would highly recommend it. There is a link in my description that you can go to download it for free. It's available on Mac, iOS, Windows, and Android. And it is free, but there is also a pro version and the link in the description will get you 40% off of the pro subscription as well. So a big shout out and thank you to UPDF for sponsoring this video. This is what I'm going to be using for the rest of the semester to read and annotate all of my documents. And it's what I'm going to be using for the next hour and a half to finish off those last couple readings that I need to do before I go to class at one. I'm going to finish the last like 30-ish pages of reading that I need to do and then I'm going to head to class. I'm not sure when the next time I'll see you guys is. It's probably going to be tonight because I want to get ahead on my midterm assignments since they're all kind of like due on Friday. Knowing me, it might be tomorrow. I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. It's a couple of days after I filmed my last clip. I actually, I don't remember when the last time I filmed was. Was it Monday or Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday morning. But it's Thursday morning now and we've got some work to do. We've got our work cut out for us. <laughs> Did I do any real meaningful work between now and the last time I filmed for this video? That's classified, but if I could tell you, you wouldn't like the answer. <laughs> answer is no but honestly that's okay because we have the next two full days like completely full days to work on everything that i need to get done i normally have two classes on thursdays but this week my professor canceled both of them it's the same professor <laughs> i'm taking two different classes with the same professor and he canceled both of our classes today on thursday so my fall break started early my fall break started last night even though i still have a lot of work to do and then this is actually the last week that i won't have classes on fridays but I don't have classes tomorrow either. So we have two full days to just work on my essay and then my like midterm reflection mini papers for some other classes. Those are like lower on the priority list. 
So I got up a little while ago. I just like washed my face. I'm about to change, get dressed for the day. And we're actually going to leave my apartment and go to campus to study and like work on these papers. Like I told you guys earlier, I don't always like focus the best when I'm just like in my room. And I kind of feel like even though the study like downstairs, the study lounge is helping me a little bit, I kind of feel like being in my apartment is sort of having like in my building is sort of having like the same vibe as being in my room. So I'm feeling like if I leave my apartment, go to campus that has more of like a professional, like academic feeling to it. I don't know. I'm probably not making sense. Probably sound crazy, but you know what? That's my plan. That's what we're going to try. We're going to see how it goes. I think I'm going to head to the law library on campus. I was there a lot like last year. I went there a couple times like during vlogmas during my like college days and weeks in my life in the fall semester of last year so like basically a whole year ago and i haven't been back yet this semester and i just i like i was watching <laughs> I was watching my old videos yesterday and i saw that building in the library and i was like oh my god i haven't been back there in so long like i remember loving it there and feeling really productive while i was in there so that is where we are headed <laughs> i'm also going to get dressed really quick because i'm kind of like my <laughs> The way that my brain works, like if I'm dressed, I'm more productive than I'm if I'm just like hanging out in my PJs. I feel like that one's pretty standard. I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head out to the law library. It's really pretty and we are hopefully going to get a significant amount of work done. Fingers crossed. Good morning guys, happy Friday. We are in the home stretch of this vlog. Today is the day, everything is due by midnight tonight. So we are in like grind time today. I was super productive at the library yesterday. I think I'm actually gonna go back over there today. I'm not sure when they open. 8 a.m. Okay, so I'm gonna probably head over there in a little bit. It's 9 a.m. right now and I need to get a lot of things done. I need to be really productive, not get distracted, finish strong so I can actually enjoy my fall break. I was really productive at the library yesterday. It was a little bit hard for me to actually like film meaningful clips because it was dead silent in there like you don't clear your throat in that room <laughs> so i tried to get a couple clips you guys can see like how pretty it is in there i absolutely love that building like so much one of my favorite buildings on campus but i was able to outline like my entire paper yesterday in the library so i feel really good about that like i was nervous about meeting the like eight pages page count and then I like outlined everything and now I'm a little bit nervous that I'm gonna go like over the page count because I don't need to get into all of it but like we need to use six readings plus some like films and things that we've watched in class so we need to use a lot of sources to like make your argument and I'm thinking like okay if I have an intro and a conclusion and then I spend like roughly a page talking about each source like 
there you go that's eight pages i didn't do any work on it once i came home i actually had a lot of stuff that i needed to do for youtube last night like i had a video that i needed to edit and send to a brand for approval so that's what i did last night when i came home i came home around six and now we are ready to get back to it what i think i'm going to end up doing is i have like one more section that i need to outline on my big paper so i think i'm going to finish that first and then do like my little mini like self-reflection assignments for my two other classes. And I feel like that'll be a good way to kind of like get myself into the productive mode and feeling like, okay, yeah, like we're in work mode. I can do this. This is like, I can write a paper because those are like very small writing assignments. Those are like one or two paragraph self-reflections. So not hard, not academic writing of any kind. And I think that'll be a good a good intro into writing this eight page paper. So I'm gonna get dressed and then we are gonna head back over to the law library again and crank out the last of these midterms. <laughs> y'all we are back home it is so much later i left the house this morning at around like 9 30 10 it is 8 p.m i was at the library the law library all day like i had my ass in that chair all day i took like little breaks like i went you guys saw in the montage i went and got like a bag of chips at one point and like i went up to like go to the bathroom and stuff but like for the most part I was just in that chair, man. It was actually, you know what? It was pretty great. Like I was very productive. <laughs> Part of me thought I was gonna be up a lot later writing this paper, but we're done. Like done, done. I have, I wrote the whole thing. I proofread the whole thing. I've got all my sources ready. Like we are done. The only thing I need to do is actually submit it. And I saved that for being home so I could do it with you guys on the vlog. I feel like that would be such a good way to conclude this vlog. Unfortunately, it's not going to be like super satisfying because there's no place to like turn it in on like canvas. It's just like we email it to her. But I suppose that closing all my tabs at the end of this will be celebration enough. So good evening, professor. I've attached my final paper to this email have a great fall break best charlotte ready pdf choose all right ready three two one send see ya so now i'm completely done with all my midterms which is so nice we've got my fall break this weekend so i guess technically for me it starts today 
right now. So we have obviously Saturday, Sunday this weekend, and then we have Monday and Tuesday off as well. So I will be doing a lot of sleeping. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> she just sent, she just replied. I'm trying to do my outro. Can you send it as a word doc? No problem here. It is. Well, hopefully everything is okay there. Mm. <laughs> Y'all ready to be satisfied? Here's the paper in Word. We're gonna save this. Close. My notes from class that I was using. Close. More notes. Close. More notes. Close. I have a ton of tabs open. Not too many. I mean, there's a lot, but they're not like, you know, too bad. Not as bad as they were in my finals vlog last year. Let's go in and close all of these. Yay! That is seriously the best feeling in the world when you finish a big assignment is going in and closing all your tabs and fully being done with everything that you were working on. It's just the best feeling. But now that we're all done with my midterms, that is gonna do it for this vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Another shout out and thank you to UPDF for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check them out, I would highly recommend it. You can use the link in my description. But that is gonna be it for this one. I am peacing out, I am so tired. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.